Hi everyone and welcome to part two of the Ryobi Compact Impact Driver Brushless Series test for removing lug nuts. If you've seen part one, you'll know that I used a 5 amp hour generic battery and I had some great feedback saying, you know what, if you want to do a real test, you got to make sure you're using a legitimate Ryobi battery. And so guess what, the batteries were on sale and I went out and purchased a two pack of 4 amp hour batteries and I'm going to redo this test for fun. So I'm going to use the same DeWalt 22 millimeter impact socket. I'm going to use the same DeWalt quarter inch to half inch adapter. And of course the Ryobi compact impact driver. And so the battery that I bought was a Ryobi 4 amp hour lithium plus. Fully charged for this test. We're now going to redo the test and find out if this compact impact driver is enough to remove lug nuts ranging from 80 foot pounds, such as on my Honda Pilot, all the way up to 140 foot pounds like on my Chevy Silverado. Stay tuned, the results surprise me and I think they're going to surprise you as well. First test of 80 foot pounds. Eighty point eight. No problem. Next one, ninety foot pounds. Ninety two point seven. No problem at ninety foot pounds. Okay, over torque that one, 106.2, but we're going to give it a shot anyway. No problem at 106 foot pounds. Okay, so now we're going with 120 foot pounds. And I got to say, so far, the results that I'm feeling with this Ryobi battery are awesome. Way better than the generic. And so whoever, all of you that have been saying the Ryobi batteries are better than the generic, you know, I think you're right. We're about to find that out. So 123.6 is the next test. Yep, no problem. 123.6. Next up here, 130 foot pounds. One thirty three point two coming up. Straight up legit. One thirty three foot pounds. All right, final test coming in at one forty foot pounds. So we got one forty one point eight. So this really is the test for removing truck lug nuts. Is my Chevy Silverado the lug nuts are normally torqued to 140 foot pounds. Way to go, Rayobi. Legit battery all the way. So just for fun, let's let's crank it up a little bit more. 150. Alright, 150 foot pounds. One fifty three point nine. Yep, even over one hundred fifty foot pounds. So I thought that test was a lot of fun. I was really surprised. You know what? So what did we learn today? I learned a couple things. The very first thing, Ryobi genuine battery all the way. So from now on. No more generic batteries for me. The power that I get out of the genuine battery just far exceeds those generic batteries. I have the P262 impact wrench and I used the generic battery on it and I've used this 4 amp hour. I took it to the shop the other day um, after I got these batteries and I used the impact wrench there and it, it could be in my head because it certainly felt way more powerful uh, but it did all the work that I demanded out of it that day so, uh, so that's lesson number one for me is genuine Ryobi batteries from now on. The second lesson that I learned is that this little compact brushless series impact driver from Ryobi 
is as powerful as it claims to be. So it's rated at 1,700 inch pounds, which is 141 point something foot pounds. And sure enough, it's able to remove lug nuts all the way up to 153. I did go beyond that. Uh, and I know I shouldn't be actually going over 150 on my lug nuts because it's probably going to stretch those the stud bolts. But because I did it so quick and I took it off right away, I'm not concerned. But, so if you're a DIYer and you've got this tool and you've got a legitimate Ryobi 4 amp hour battery, for example, I would have no problem using this to remove lug nuts on my Honda Pilot or my car, which are 80 foot pounds, even up to 100 or 110 foot pounds. Repeatedly taking off those lug nuts is going to probably tire this out a little bit compared to the impact wrench, as that's what the impact wrench is designed for, not so much the impact driver. Nonetheless, if you've got this and you've got a vehicle like I do with 80 foot pound lug nuts, I've got no problem. I'd use this all day long, get it to remove lug nuts, no need for an impact wrench. As long as you're using that quarter inch to half inch uh, solid, good quality adapter like that DeWalt, I think you're good to go. If you found this video helpful, let me know by hitting that like button. And then also leave suggestions or comments. I really do appreciate that some folks had left that comment about using a legitimate, uh, genuine Ryobi battery. And the test results differed dramatically. I was excited to see that. And from now on, it's only genuine batteries for me. Uh, any questions, feel free to leave those as well. And then lastly, subscribe to my channel so that you can get notified of all of the latest DIY and tool review videos. Have a great weekend, everybody, and take care.